Hello and welcome to 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Belfet. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the Emir of Qatar, Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani, on his country's National Day. He wished the Qatari leader abundant health and happiness and his people for the progress and prosperity, hailing the good relations between the two brotherly countries and the steadily growing ties. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the Emir of Qatar, Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani, on his country's National Day. His Royal Highness wished the Qatari leader abundant health and happiness and his people further progress and prosperity, hailing the deep-rooted historic relations and the steadily growing ties at all levels. The Premier sent similar cables of congratulations to the Qatari Deputy Emir, Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Thani, Prime Minister and Interior Minister, Sheikh Abdullah bin Nasser bin Khalifa Al Thani and the Qatari Emir's personal representative, Sheikh Jassim bin Hamad Al Thani. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the Emir of Qatar, Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani, on his country's National Day. His Royal Highness wished the Qatari leader abundant health and happiness and his people further progress and prosperity, hailing the deep rooted historic relations and the steadily growing ties. The Crown Prince sent two cables of congratulations to the Qatari Deputy Emir, Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Thani, and Prime Minister and Interior Minister, Sheikh Abdullah bin Nasser bin Khalifa Al Thani. The Special Royal Guard Force Commander His Highness Major Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa received at Isa Air Base a number of the participants in the Special Duty Force Group affiliated with Bahrain Defense Force BDF and in the Operation We Store Hope in Yemen. A number of senior BDF officers and families of the Special Duty Force Group participants were also present. His Highness expressed thanks and appreciation to the participants of for their dedication in carrying out their duties, hailing their noble sacrifices that are based on bravery and their keenness on performing their national duty. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, son of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, patronized and inaugurated today the National Day Beach Football Championship in the presence of President of the Bahrain Football Association, Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and a number of officials. His Highness praised the outstanding organizing of the championship, which reflected the successful efforts exerted by the organizing committee. He congratulated the wise leadership on the anniversary of the establishment of the modern state of Bahrain as an Arab and Muslim country in 1783 by its founder Ahmed al-Fatah, the 45th anniversary of its succession to the UN as a full member, the 17th anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne. He pointed out the huge participation in the event which reflects Bahraini's keenness to interact in different youth and sporting events, wishing them all success. The championship resulted today in the winning of Sar Club against Al Malkia Club, Bori Club won against Bahrain and Kuwait Bank Team, Kerzakan Youth Center won against the Lock Youth Center and Budaya Club also won. The championship will continue until December the 24th. The World Arabic Language Day comes under the goal to celebrate cultural diversity and to acknowledge the contribution of the Arabic language in fostering ties between different cultures. More in this report with Habab al -Ghaffar. The World Arabic Language Day, observed annually on December 18th, was established by the UN Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization in 2010, seeking to celebrate multilingualism and cultural diversity, to promote equal use of all six of its official working languages throughout the organization. Arabic is a language with a rich history and is spoken by almost 1.5 billion people around the world and in UNESCO's 22 member states. This language is here to survive and we would like to send a message out that this language has a historical importance as a social importance as well. So as you can see today we, we share Arabic music, Arabic po poets and as well a lecture on what it means to have Arabic, Arabic language in our curriculum, in our schools, in our universities, 
And uh, in the region center here in Bahrain, we aim to, to celebrate this day on a yearly basis to show people that they are people who really showcase that the Arabic language is as important as all languages in the world. This celebration, organized by the Arab Regional Center for World Heritage in collaboration with the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, led by Her Excellence Sheikh Hamai bint Mohammed Al Khalifa, the celebration acknowledges the contribution of the language in fostering ties between different cultures and in the development of science, medicine, mathematics, and literature through the ages. We need this, we need this awakening. Because we have to maintain our identity, we have to maintain our culture, we have to maintain ourselves and to cling together for that matter. It's celebrated all around the world as a means to promote cultural understanding and encourage dialogue among people who speak different languages. Organizations and governments hold cultural events that showcase the history and richness of the language. Seminars and conferences highlight the current developments in Arabic literature through lectures, talks, music performances and workshops by Arabic artists, writers and poets. It's a call to promote the cultural and linguistic diversity of the world as a crucial element in the cultural wealth of humanity. The Arabic language in its classical form and its many dialectics is a global language in which it identifies beliefs and aspirations of people across the five continents are expressed. It's a bridge between cultures and a practical way of adding to knowledge, perceptions and mutual understanding for peace. I'm here as a tourist and when I heard about the event, so I'm, um, I'm currently learning Arabic, when I learned about the event, I thought it would be a good opportunity to hear about the importance of Arabic language in the region in music. So it was a great event. I enjoyed it. Each year, the UNESCO Sharjah Prize for Arab Culture pays tribute to individuals, groups or institutions for their dedicated work and outstanding achievements in the diffusion of broad knowledge of Arab art and culture. This year, World Arabic Language Day is an opportunity to convey a strong message in favor of the dissemination of the Arabic language online in the fields of higher education and scientific research. We have 50 books translating from, different, from five different majors and all from English, uh, different languages also into Arabic. And this is the idea to promote the, uh, the rationality, social sciences, all in Arabic language. <laughs> December 18 is marked as the Arabic Language Day, as it's the day when the General Assembly in 1973 approved the Arabic language as an official UN language. With you, Hebab Dhafar reporting for Bahrain International.